Guys, people in the fragrance community have been lying to you, okay? They have been lying their behinds off. And I'm exposing everybody today. All right? I'm sick of this. I'm sick of it. All right? I'm sick of it. Guys, I was about to head out to work, and I had a thought. And I said to myself, self, I need to share this thought with somebody. And who better to share it with, because it's fragrance-related, than you guys. So I'm going to be sharing my thoughts with you before I head out. And by the way, this fragrance from Giorgio Armani, strong with you absolutely, is absolutely fantastic. Anyway, look, come on and hear what I got to say. What's going on, YouTube? My name is Darian. I'm the Bowtie Fragrance Guy, man. I cover fashion and fragrance on this channel. So if you're into that kind of stuff, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you hit the bell icon as well. That way, when I upload new content, you'll get notified. All right, guys. So it's not that serious, all right? <laughs> I'm not exposing anybody. But listen, I did have a thought. And there's a lot of people that describe fragrances a certain way, and I just don't get it, all right? Or people say that this fragrance smells like this fragrance, and for me, it's a head scratcher. I just, I don't get it, all right? So I know I'm not the only one, and that's the thought that I had this morning. So I was kind of looking at uh, what I was going to wear today. You know, I looked at a particular fragrance, which I'll get to in a moment, and I that thought, you know, came into my mind where... I've heard a lot of people say that that fragrance smells like this fragrance, and I'm just like, I, I don't agree with that. I just don't get it. You know, so I'm going to be talking about that today. A lot of the things that you hear uh, people say when describing fragrances, sometimes how they describe fragrances or what they say another fragrance smells like, they just don't. <laughs> All right? I'm just saying they just don't. And I'm going to be talking about some fragrances today I have in my collection where that has happened a lot. These fragrances don't smell anything to me like what other people say they smell like. So that's what we're getting into. A uh, really quick style tip, guys, because I am happy. I love cold weather, all right? I'm much more of a cold weather fan than I am hot weather. I don't like sweating, especially for no reason. And when it's hot outside, you know, you know, we, you sweat, you know what I mean? So I love cooler temperatures. Ironically, I live in a, a, a state where we don't get a whole lot of cold temperatures, but we have been getting it this year, so I want to give you guys a quick style tip. Get yourself a nice overcoat. I don't know if you guys can really see this, but nice wide peak lapel on this jacket. And uh, so it's very stylish, but it's going to keep me warm when I go outside. So not only the suits that I wear, of course, the shoes, but I want to accent that. And you'll want to accent that, that nice look, that nice well put together look with a nice peak coat or a nice overcoat uh, of some kind because to me that really sets it off when it's cold outside honestly you could just wear a shirt like i'm wearing today without the tie or you could go with the tie you don't really have to wear a a blazer or a suit jacket if you have a nice overcoat like this so when you get inside of course you can just kind of take this off and be a little bit more casual but anyway get you a nice peak coat or a nice overcoat uh, of some kind in your wardrobe but anyway guys i'm gonna go ahead and run the intro and when i come back these fragrances don't smell anything like what other people say we'll be right back The Bowtie Fragrance Guy. All right, guys, we're back. Thank you so much for keeping it locked in. Let's go ahead and jump right into this video. This first fragrance, guys, it does smell good, all right? And I'm not saying that any of these fragrances don't smell good. I'm just saying they don't smell like what other people say they smell like to me. So this first fragrance as a recent pickup for me is from the house of Latapa, and it's called Camera. All right? So here's the bottle. And if you have not heard, if you've been living under a rock, a lot of people say this smells like Angel Share from By Killian. Now, obviously, they made no secret that maybe they were trying to 
and plant that into your mind with the presentation because obviously this bottle uh, looks a lot like Killian's Angel Share. And I have a gripe with this fragrance too. This is like, the cap is so hard to get off of this fragrance. Maybe it just be mine, but I struggle every time I try to get the cap off. So bear with me one second. All right, I got the cap off. But this fragrance to me doesn't smell like <laughs> Angel Share. And on, I've tried it several times on skin. I just don't really get angel share. I don't get it. To me, it does not smell a lot, maybe like a slight two to 5%, but I don't really get that. But I will tell you what it does smell like to me. It smells more like <laughs> instant crush <laughs> from Mancera. It smells more like Instant Crush to me from Mancera. You get this really heavy, vanillic, woodsy, oak moss kind of dry down on that fragrance. And I get the same thing with Instant Crush. Which leads me, of course, to the next fragrance. A lot of people said when this came out that this smelled like Baccarat Rouge 540. And I don't get it. This does not smell like Baccarat Rouge 540 to me. Maybe, you know, again, I'm gonna be fair, maybe you know, again, maybe that 5%, 10%, but that's pushing it to me. I don't really get the Baccarat Rouge 540 thing. Like I just said, this is a very heavy uh, vanillic fragrance, especially on the dry down. You get a lot of woods in there again, prominently, prominently uh, featuring that oak moss when it dries down. And that, to me, smells nothing like Baccarat Rouge 540. Again, uh, it smells good, but just doesn't smell like Baccarat. So I don't I don't really know where people get that from. But let's move on to the next one. Now, sometimes it's not just what fragrance people may compare it to. Sometimes it's the way that people describe a fragrance. Like this, this next fragrance from the house of Paco Rabanne, One Million. One Million. Can I see people saying this is a little bit more playful, maybe for a little bit um, of a younger uh, demographic? I can see that. But most of the time when people describe this fragrance, they say that it has a bubble gummy smell to it. Don't go into a store looking for bubble gum that smells like this because you're not gonna find it. <laughs> Guys, this fragrance does smell amazing to me, but does it smell like bubble gum? I don't. It smells good, but I've never smelled bubble gum that smells like this. So maybe I'm missing the boat on what bubble gummy is, but I would think that that means it smells like bubble gum. Just haven't found the bubble gum that smells like this yet. Now I would love to. I think it would probably taste good as <laughs> it smells great, but bubble gummy, eh, I don't get it. So I guess that this kind of thing happens a lot with this fragrance brand because this next fragrance is also from the house of Mancera. I'm talking about Sajrat Boise. So Drop Boise, yeah, I've kind of been guilty of it myself as well because I've said it has a slight resemblance to uh, Creed Aventus, but the more I smell it, the more I <laughs> disagree with it, man. Like I said, I guess sometimes what I'm saying is something that's maybe in that 5 to 10% range, maybe it doesn't really smell like that as much as a lot of people say that it does. I'm sure it kind of has this nice citrusy thing that kind of resembles pineapple although i think it's bergamot and it has a kind of smoky thing that's coming more from leather but honestly if you compare these side by side if you compare this to creed aventus it's nowhere near as close as a comparison as a lot of people say so so to say that this definitely is a clone of creed aventus i don't really get it now, this next fragrance is a fragrance from the house of M. M. McAleaf, and it's called Desir Toxic. Desir to Toxic. Now, the fragrance is very unique. It does smell good. It's a unique fragrance. Um, one may, be, I may say, even <clears throat> somewhat of acquired taste for some people. But I've seen on places like Fragrantica where people have said that this fragrance smells like Layton from Parfums and Marley. Come on, son. Come on, son. 
<laughs> Bro, if you buy this fragrance, you go on Fragrance Gun, you buy this fragrance with the belief that this thing smells anything like Layton from Parfums de Marley, you're gonna be sadly disappointed. It smells nothing like that. Now, I have seen some people kind of compare it to Savage Elixir. Now, I, I can kind of get with that a little bit more, but Layton from Parfums de Marley, maybe the bottle color, but that's about it. But saying that it smells like Layton, I don't get it. Now, you're gonna start to see somewhat of a resounding theme on this video because no two fragrances get more comparisons in this world than Creed Aventus and Baccarat Route 540, and that's because the scents themselves are so popular. And this next fragrance fell victim to this as well because a lot of people said this smelled like Baccarat Rouge when it came out. It's from the House of Parfums de Marley, and this is Kalan. Kalan from Parfums de Marley. Now, me personally, I love this scent, but I'm just going to cut to it. It smells nothing like Baccarat. Nothing like it. I don't get it. it. Smells nothing like Baccarat Rouge 540. And there's nothing wrong with that. Again, maybe the bottle color, obviously, especially the um, Baccarat Rouge X Straight that has that nice red bottle. <sighs> maybe sometimes people get caught up in the colors of bottles. I don't know, but smelling like Baccarat Rouge 540, this doesn't, man. I don't get it. Now, this next fragrance is one of those uh, fragrances as well when it comes to how it's described. This fragrance is actually from the house of Narciso Rodriguez and it's called For Him. For Him. This fragrance has a nice classic kind of fougere feel to it. And I'm so happy I have this in my collection. It smells freaking fantastic. Pairs well with the suit. But when I hear a lot of people describe this fragrance, they've said that it smells like wet cement. I don't get it, man. Listen, I've been around wet cement a few times in my life, and I can tell you, if my memory served me correctly, it did not smell anything like this. Because if it had, I probably would have wanted to stay in the presence of the wet cement a little bit longer just to smell it, because this thing smells fantastic. Now, again, it could be the case that when you look at the bottle, that grayish color may resemble wet cement somewhat, I guess, but this smelling like wet cement, nah, bro, I don't get that. And last but not least on this list today, guys, this one is from the House of Bond number nine, and this is Scent of Peace for him. Of course, you guys know I love this bottle because it's representing your boy perfectly with the bow tie. One of my favorite fragrances from Bond number nine, and of course, a lot of people compare this to Creed Aventus. I really, I don't really get it. I don't really get it. Like I said before, HTTP from Bond number 9 is a lot closer to a Creed Aventus kind of DNA. Uh, this one is more about grapefruit. All right, this has grapefruit in it. There are some notes that are similar to a Venice, and because of that, maybe people try to do that comparison, but I don't really get that that much, man. Like I said, HTTP from Bond number 9 is a lot closer to the Aventus DNA than this. This smells great. But as far as being like a clone of Creed Aventus, I don't really get it, man. But that is it, guys. That's my time, man. This was just kind of a fun video. Again, not, you know, knocking anybody that says that. I guess to some extent, I can see where, you know, they may get or draw those comparisons. But fragrance is a very subjective thing. It's something I wanted to have a little bit of fun with. A lot of these fragrances, as I said to me, I don't really get the comparisons, but to each his or her own. But as always, I sincerely appreciate you guys' time and attention to these videos. I know you don't have to watch, but you do, and I sincerely appreciate that. And don't forget to make sure you take a few moments to go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. And make sure you are sharing these videos out to some other folks out there that you think could use this information or find it entertaining. Because I'm your guy, Darren. I'm the Bowtie Fragrance Guy. I love to look good, and of course, I love to smell amazing. So until next time, guys, keep looking good. Keep smelling even better. I'll catch you on the flip side. Peace.